What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bay Area VFS. Uh, got a little unboxing video. This time is not Bait Finesse Systems gear, not BFS gear. Um, however, what I am excited to show you guys is something that uh, I use whenever I go fishing, my kayak, which is a, a Hobie Lynx. Um, it's a, a pedal kayak, and it really allows me to access parts of um, different uh, fisheries uh, that you can't necessarily access from shore. Um, so I use it for, uh, obviously you guys have seen, I use it for trolling. Um, I also use it to just uh, pedal off to certain parts of the lake uh, where uh, I think, you know, bass are hiding or uh, maybe it depends on what I'm going for trout or, or, or crappie or whatever. Um, and really, really love the kayak. Really love the pedal side of things. Um, I feel like I'm really connected with the water. Um, and so, but one of the things I have been kind of uh, wanting or desiring was the ability to have a little bit of a power assist. So think of it kind of like, um, like an e-bike. Right, so you, you have your pedals, you're able to use your legs to pedal, but then every once in a while, you kind of like the idea of having a little bit of uh, power assist, whether it be, um, you know, let's say you're gonna be, uh, if I'm gonna be out for uh, a long day on the water, um, it's nice to save the legs a little bit, you know, after a few hours of pedaling. Um, and then also, uh, what's really nice, what I like to do is when I'm headed back to the dock, you know, at the end of the day, headed back to the dock, uh, it's always nice to be able to have some uh, power that allows me to uh, just kind of set and forget the course back to the dock. Uh, and I can go ahead and start, you know, cleaning up, cleaning up all my uh, fishing gear that I've been using throughout the day. Um, you know, it's a good time just to, uh, to be able to do that. Um, and pedaling, you know, um, you know, so I've been pedaling, you know, usually I'm just pedaling back to shore. Um, and I really can't, you know, because my legs are doing one of these types of things, it doesn't really allow me to turn around, to pack things up, to clean things up, um, and get, you know, get things uh, prepared. So I wanted something that had a little bit, again, a power assist. Um, so what I'm really excited to show you guys here is this package I just got. Oh, big old box. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's from Texas Power Paddle. Um, and this right here, I think is just the absolute, it's an absolute ingenious solution. Um, you know, again, I like the pedal. Uh, and I've seen, I've been looking at a number of different solutions. I've experimented with a few different solutions. Um, I got some behind me, but um, I've experimented with different uh, different solutions where, you know, I'm dropping in a, um, a motor into the slot where my pedals go. So I got to take my pedals out uh, so I can drop the motor in. And then I only have, uh, you know, a power drive. Um, which is nice and has worked really well for me. Um, to me, you know, my other kayak I have is an Old Town Autopilot 120, um, and that's just pure, you know, purely power drive. Um, and time and place for everything, you know, but again, since I started, I got my Hobie Links after uh, I've been using my Autopilot for a while, and I just really fell in love with the pedal side of things again make, makes me feel really connected uh, to the water sounds weird but I just there's just something about it another uh, benefit I guess is that you know I can um, uh, get a little bit of cardio in when I'm uh, fishing uh, whereas if it's just pure power drive uh, you don't really get that um, you know and so one of the kind of the the downsides of having a purely pedal drive or sorry, purely power drive uh, on a Hobie Lynx is when I take my pedals out, uh, I have to set them somewhere so I can put the motor in. Um, and then likewise, if I want to use my pedals, I got to pull pull the motor out and I got to set it down. And 
put it in. So it's just, there, it just takes up a lot of space on the kayak. And I'm not a big fan of like clutter uh, on the kayak. When I'm out, I just want everything to be really streamlined, sleek, uh, and organized on my kayak when I'm fishing. Um, so, uh, okay, getting to it. Uh, super excited about this because this right here, I believe solves everything um, I've been trying to do, I've been wanting to do. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, I have really, really high hopes that this with my Hobie Lynx is going to give me the perfect kayak solution for me to go out and troll, to go out and hit spots to do some BFS fishing, um, to go out and just enjoy myself. Um, let's get to it. All right. Trusty blade. I tell you what, well, let's see. I was gonna throw you guys on my chest, but how do we just go about it this way? Let's see, box number one. got a charger. It goes in like that. Got a nice charger there. Nothing crazy about that. All right, and here's the magic right here, guys. Let's see. Very nicely packaged, I have to say. motor here. The motor will only deploy and retract automatically when in water. It's a good thing. All right, so we got a cable and we got the motor here. All right, so what's unique about this right here? So you'll see there's a motor Right, there's a propeller there. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah. So what's unique about this is this plate right here, you'll see it's the motor is attached to this plate. This plate fits into the uh, standard transducer uh, location on the Hobie Lynx, which is in the center of the kayak right underneath the seat. Um, and so I believe you just take off, take off the other panel, obviously disconnect the transducer. Um, and then you just slide this right in, screw it in, and then you have yourself a motor. And let's see if we got, it looks like we got a little safety clip here. And so when you're in, the, when it deploys in the water, you got this action going on here. And then you'll see that it, the propeller turns. It looks like it's about five inches, I think. Five inches down. So it deploys, propels you. And keep in mind, I get to also use my pedals because this is not a pedal replacement. This is truly a power assist. So I can use my pedals and use this at the same time. Uh, I can go slow, I can use this to go fast. Um, I think I've heard a range of anywhere from uh, four miles per hour, four to five miles per hour with just pure motor, up to seven I've heard with uh, pedaling. So 
Um, that's pretty good. And I think that's definitely enough uh, speed for me to quickly get to different parts of the lake that I'm trying to get to. Um, so yeah, isn't that neat? All right, so we'll put that in. This cable will then go through the hull uh, and then plug into the battery, which, look at it looks like I can use it. All right, and isn't this cool right here? So this right here is the remote. This remote looks like it attaches to this little clip. which will then attach to my rudder handle. Uh, so I always have my rudder handle on my uh, left-hand side. So I can just use this to control my rudder this way. And if I want to use the motor, I can turn it on with this little knob. So very convenient to be able to control, turn, add power, turn left, turn right. Um, so yeah, that's nice. Really nice. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, and here, guys, is the battery. So one of the things I really like look look for in a battery system is battery capacity, weight of the battery, um, and how much time I get on the water when in use. And you can see this right here, not very heavy. I'm holding it with one hand very easily. Um, we got the plugins for our uh, motor and then to the remote right there. Here's the inside, guys. Pretty simple. Pretty clean. Uh, everything I've read, everything I've heard, other reviews I've seen of this uh, battery states that people can get up to uh, almost eight hours of um, run time. Uh, depending on how they're using the battery. Uh, I've seen people post that uh, after running the motor at full power um, for about four hours on the water, uh, they come off and they still have about 50% battery. So that's very, very promising because I doubt I will ever use uh, the motor at full power for that extended period of time. For me, it's all about figuring out where I want to get to. And then if I need, if I want to get that, get out there quickly, uh, maybe I might hit the full power uh, head out and as I'm headed out and towards that direction I'm going to start rigging my rods getting ready uh, depending on the type of fishing I'm doing um, so that might be a full power but once I get to my spot especially if I'm uh, throwing the BFS gear around uh, probably just going to turn the motor off and just use the pedals only and kind of just uh, work a shoreline um, if I'm trolling then generally I troll from around between one and a half to two and a half miles per hour, uh, which is way below the maximum power of this motor. So I am very bullish that I will be able to get uh, at least a full day of fishing in, you know, call it eight hours, nine hours. I, I'm rarely out there for that long, but if I need to eight or nine hours on the water, um, I think this is gonna help me achieve that. And then obviously after I'm done fishing for a day, just being able to beeline it back to the shore or back to the dock, um, you know, to, to clean up and uh, load back on the car. Um, 
So this one little case right here, this one little battery uh, is supposed to give me that. Um, and uh, I'm not just taking Texas Power Paddle's word for it. Uh, it's also just, again, hearing from other other folks on YouTube and uh, yeah, so uh, super stoked, super light, looks clearly water resistant. Let's see. Yeah, we got a little bit of a rubber liner on the inside. So this is gonna be pretty pr pretty protected in case of a uh, capsize. Um, this should stay pretty safe from water damage. All right, well, that's it for now, guys. I'm gonna um, record another video of uh, me doing the install. Um, and then I'm going to probably set up another, create another video of on the water testing. Um, I'm super excited about this. Uh, really love this. I'm so glad to have a solution that is a lightweight, be very versatile, um, where I can use my pedals and, uh, have power, um, with a very, very sleek control. Right, very, very sleek. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I think this is gonna do wonders. But anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit like, um, you know, to uh, be notified when I do the install video of this. Uh, I'll show you the full, how I'm gonna line the inside of the, the, the Hobie Lynx transducer area to help cut down on some noise. Um, and then we'll go out and test it on the water. So, all right, guys. Thank you.